Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today we are going to be install. Um, well, I'm going to be teaching you how to install Minecraft um, Forge from Minecraft Java Edition on a Mac only. On Mac only. So the first thing you're going to do is open your web browser. Then you're going to then you're going to search Java. JDK download and then you go to the second link down here the second thing Java SE development kit 8 downloads Oracle so then you'll go down and find Mac OS x64 tick the box and press that button now you sign into your account if you don't have one make one it's pretty simple you just email and username password and whatever and then once you sign in the download will start but I've already done it so I'm not going to download again so the next thing you're gonna want to do is go to minecraftforge.net and then you hit files and then I'm going to be installing 1.14.4 because there's something I'm doing there so I'm gonna go to uh, installer and don't click anything here it's just a it's an ad so don't click anything you'll see a bunch of ads and stuff I'm just using an ad blocker now you, when it loads you click skip and your download will start so now you drag it over to your desktop oh, sorry I just gotta put the stuff in the bin it's, it's garbage stuff okay once it's uh, downloaded right there you're going to uh, so right click this and press open and it will say it this stuff and f downloaded from ad ad focus just just press um, open anyway and then you'll notice that Java opened and you'll see this you press ok but I've already done it so uh, I'll just press cancel but everybody else press ok now you're gonna open minecraft and once it loads you'll notice it says 4 trumpet 4 and put 4 and there's some stuff I don't really know what then you're gonna hit play because yeah and it sh and it will it normally should say it should say download downloading and it will take a while but I've already downloaded the it's already done the downloading thing for me so I don't need to do that you can also close Google or your web browser now when um Minecraft opens this time it's going to be a dip a bit different you'll notice that there's this stuff and this stuff or you might see something different because I have a different v version of Forge, but it it's still going to be the same. It's all going to be the same. You don't have to download that specific version. Now you will see. Um, go to mod. You can go to mods, and you'll see there's Forge and Minecraft, and then that's fine. You can have, two, and then if you have two mods loaded, then that's fine. Nothing's not nothing's wrong. Now you can quit the game, and the reason we're doing that is to register the mods file. Now you go to Finder and hit Shift Command G and type in this. I'll leave it in the description. I'll leave it in the description as well as the JDK link. Oh wait, no. Never mind. Uh, I'll leave this in the description and hit go and then you'll be taken to the folder called mods and you can go to google chrome and then type in any mod you want 
like, I'll just, uh, go to Curse Forge. Curse Forge is really good for mods. So, you can go, like, you can find, go to Minecraft, and you can find all these other stuff. And when you download it, make sure it's a jar file for one for Forge 1.14.4, and it's a specific version. So once you've got your mod, drag it into that mods folder, and you can hit close. Then open Minecraft again and play the thing you've just played. And when Minecraft's loaded, you'll see the same thing again. You'll see a um, execution thing. And, um... And then Minecraft will open. And as you saw again, this weird memory heap stuff and stuff fading down there. That's just setting up the mods and loading. And if you have too many mods, it will take a really long time. And now there's three mods loaded because I just put in this this mod right that was up there. So you can hit done and go to single player or multiplayer or anything. If you have a server that has mods on it, you don't need to install a mod unless it changes something outside the game. So I'm just going to go to you can play the world that you want and then that's how you install mods hope you enjoy hope it's really helped you and hope it solved your problem that you had in my last video you couldn't install jdk and well bye make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell to never miss any more awesome how-to minecraft videos